So hello everybody. Good evening. Welcome. You hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening teacher. How's it going? Good evening, teacher. Teacher, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Oh, welcome. How are you, guys? What's up? How's everything? Hi, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for us. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. How was the weekend? What was the finish of mine? Was it good? Was it good? Was it great? Super. Very well. Okay. It's great. Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, listen up. Let's begin with the session. And I'm I'm glad to hear that everybody is okay. Everybody is Okay. And I'm happy to do in the, in the session. We're going to begin. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to pass a pen, please. Once you listen to your name, please stay present. Let's begin. I uh, already have a few people. Let's begin. Alberto Espasa. <laughs> Espinosa. We're here. Ana Francisca Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Vicky Garcia. Present teacher. All right. Pastor Diaz. Pastor Diaz. Pastor. Good, good. Thank you. Pastor Lorena Muñoz. Present teacher. Let's go with Essie Avalos. Essie Avalos. Okay. Bessie Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Cesar Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Cesar Ariola. So here, let's go with Claudia. Present. Nice. Valida Galicia. See you, yeah? Good. You know, tell me Peña. Present teacher. Good. Ernesto Garcia. Present teacher. Nice. Stephanie Sea. Present teacher. Nelson Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Lina Linares. Present teacher. Okay. Liliana Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay. Ivan Patriz. Present. Okay. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Johanna Navarro. Johanna Navarro. Okay. Jorge Espinosa. Present teacher. Jorge Parrientos. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Portillo. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Carvalho. Present teacher. Karen Mujiva. Karen Mujiva. Karen Renata Flores. Present teacher. Carla Granados. Carla Granados. Okay. Let's go with Carla Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, and let's see Carla Rosa. Carla Rosa. Alguien que no mencioné? Yo voy a estar listo más adelante. Solo, bueno, si sí. creo que el transcurso de, de, la, de la sesión, de la clase, 
no he mencionado a alguien, recuerda, como, como lo hizo la vez pasada, creo, Ernesto, si no me equivoco, que me recordó. Que el coche más adelante, al revisar por grupo esta lista, así rapidito, para ver quién está pendiente. A, a, aprovechando, hablando de esto, bueno, primero voy a tomar la de la pantalla. Todos vamos a hacer nuestra cámara, recuerden, vamos a marcar bien encendida. Entonces, que vamos a la cuenta de tres: uno, dos, tres. Ok. Una más, perdón. Una más. Uno, dos, tres. Perfecto. Muy bien. Continuamos. Ahora bien, uh, solo hacer un recordatorio con respecto a, a la asistencia. Tenemos de, de cuidarla. Bueno, ahora se nos, se nos indicó y se nos dijo que les recordáramos acerca de eso siempre. En las sesiones debemos de cuidar nuestra asistencia, el 80%. No se olviden. De igual forma, la plataforma debemos de tener un porcentaje arriba del 60% porque lo vamos a lograr, porque vayamos avanzando en la plataforma, así como lo hablamos la sesión pasada, si avanzamos las secciones, está bien, no hay ningún problema, podemos hacerlo, e igual los ejercicios si los podemos ir uh, desarrollando varias veces, si tenemos uno o dos errores, por ejemplo, lo podemos hacer, no hay ningún problema. Entonces, puede hacer eso y, y pueden ustedes mejorar su puntaje. Yo estoy actualizando, el, como dije, la clase pasada, los cuadros de notas, porque por cada sección hay un homework one, homework two, hay un promedio por cada sector. El promedio se va tomando y se va actualizando el cuadro. Que durante el fin de semana se va actualizando y vamos bien, vamos bien. He, he visto algunos que no han dejado aquí a medias o no, no han podido intentarlo nuevamente, recuerden que lo pueden hacer. Pueden uh, hacer otro intento y obtener un papel más alto. Claro que sí. Es que vayándoles, vamos a explicar así en la sección el meter. Recuerden que lo hacemos el miércoles. Y Ana les muestro así como les decía, el jueves, perdón. Y vemos las instrucciones, etc. Esto más que todo. Ahí por lo demás, ustedes trabajan con la aquí en individual. Lo haremos mañana porque el miércoles ya tocaría hacer el día. Ya que el miércoles terminamos la segunda semana y posiblemente el jueves iniciamos la tercera semana. ¿Qué? Así va el tiempo corriendo y pues debemos ir avanzando. De igual forma, repito, la asistencia. Mantengamos la asistencia y. Cuidémosla, cuidémosla. Entonces, si podemos al 100%, mucho mejor. Vamos a estar presentes en la conferencia, recuerden. Es de parte de ese programa. Así es que, uh, bueno, lo último, solo quisiera saber si alguien ha tenido o ha experimentado algún problema con la plataforma antes de, de iniciar. ¿Está todo bien hasta el momento? Eh, sí, solo, solamente yo no sé si era por que mi conexión a internet o, o realmente era por plataforma, pero me parecía como que no se puede cargar la discusión, algo así. Y entonces sí. al momento de, de creer... Uh -huh. Perdón, ¿qué sección fue? En la sección 2, más que todo. Ajá, que estaba ¿Algún, resolviendo. ¿Algún ejercicio en específico? Mm, no, no recuerdo, pero casi en todas. O sea, cuando pasaba al ejercicio o, o a los videos, por ejemplo, de donde aparece el objetivo, pasaba la parte del video y me aparecía, no se puede cargar la discusión. Entonces, eh, habían algunos que me pedía como que dejara en el foro de discusión, pero no me aparecía, o sea, la opción de añadir publicación. Ah, no sé por qué. Pero, si era... en, mi ca... en mi casa también así me aparecía. Ajá, okay. no sé si era la conexión o es realmente el problema de la plataforma, por eso le digo. Probablemente quizás algún problema de, en la plataforma. A veces eso pasa. Eso pasa con grandes plataformas, Zoom, Teams. Probablemente quizás sea en la plataforma. Ah, verifiquemos a que todos los ejercicios, perdón. Los videos, que decía. 
Este de los videos. Ajá, sí, sí. Este. Bueno, no lo van a escuchar porque no le, no le he juntado el sonido. Pero sí se mira, sí. Sí, es que el video no hay problema. Es con respecto a la parte del foro, abajo. Hasta abajo donde aparece para añadir. Oh. Ahí no me aparecía la parte de añade publicación, sino que me aparecía solo o de arriba donde decía... Bueno, no me aparecía nada de eso. Ajá. Solo me aparecía un recuadro azul y nada de eso. Pero oh. con otra no pude. Uh -huh. Ok, verifique específicamente en esa que no, no tuvo, por, tuvo problema, perdón. Y okay. me, me avisa si, si le sigue igual con si cae en la ribera, para que me diga. ¿Tuvo problemas a mí? ¿Ya le más problemas? Verifiquemos nuevamente si, si nos deja ahora sale esa acción. Si no le sale, me avisan para así yo poder reportar. Y les pido de favor que si me reportan una sección, por ejemplo, para decirles algo, sección 2, sí. Pueden decir 2.1, 2.3, Si es ser posible, me pueden mandar que estoy en pantalla, va a ser mucho mejor que lo reporte. ¿Okay? Para que verifiquen eso, porque que ya, sí puede ser problema de la plataforma. ¿Okay? Creo que dos o tres tienen el mismo problema. ¿Alguien más? No sé si alguien más tuvo algún problema. ¿Todo bien? Sí, yes, todo bien. Ok, bueno, vamos a iniciar. Antes de iniciar, solo hacer un breve paréntesis. Y vamos, vamos a ir poco a poco. Y si creen, va todo. Si creen que es muy rápido, avísenme, ¿ok? Avísenme, me interrumpen la presentación. Me dice, va muy rápido, ¿ok? Ok. Bueno, well, let's go. Let's begin. This is the topic for today. Places and things. Places and things. Today is Monday, April 12, 2021. This is session number six. Okay. Hold on. I'll forget the topic. Places and things. Let's begin and let's go first with places. Places, say, in a city, etc. For example, look at the pictures. And tell me the places. Okay, tell me the place. Let's go number one. Oh, this is this is obvious because um, picture it has the name right, but it's a bank. 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 Oh, we have you know famous famous banks in El Salvador, right? Can you mention some famous banks in El Salvador? Citibank. Yeah. Cusco Clan Bank. Cusco Bank. Yeah, good. La Cusco Bank. Yeah. American Bank. American Bank. American Bank. Bank. Bank, sorry. Cusco Clan Bank. That is the first place. Bank. Right. Right. Thanks. What is that place? Drugstore. Pharmacy. Yeah, pharmacy. pharmacy. In this case, drugstore. Please, please, drugstore. I repeat again. I listen to somebody. Please. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Pill. Okay, in this case, drugstore. 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 What can you find here? Right here. What can we find here? Medication. Medicine. Medicine. Medicine, yes. Vitamins. Vitamins. Thank you. Vitamins. Antibiotics. Antibiotics. Yeah. Antibiotics, yes. Aspirin. Aspirin, yeah. Yeah, we can have in general, right? Medicine. 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 Let's, let's go back in. Bank. 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 Drugstore. 
Drugstore. Drugstore. Drugstore. It could be pharmacy too, as someone said. Pharmacy. 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 Yes, pharmacy. 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 Yes, it's drugstore. 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 Yes. Next. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. What can we find here? We 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 send cars. We send cars. Letters. Package. 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 Yeah. Package. We can send or we can receive packages. It's not good. Back. We can. I'm sorry. We can re receive or send packages. Vamos a recibir o enviar paquetes, right? Okay. Old office. Old office. First Old office. Old office. Old office. Next. Gas station. 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 Yes. Gas station. Yes. Gas station. In here, in this place, we can get gasoline. We can get gasoline for a car. Gas station. All the time? Gas station. Gas, gas station. station. Gas station. Yes. And gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Good. Next. Bookstore. Bookstore. Library. Library. Mm, no. <laughs> could be. Could be. Could be. But this could is a be. bookstore. What is the book difference store. between bookstore and library? What is the difference entre bookstore and library? Uh, the library yeah. is for read books and in, in a place. And bookstore? Send books the, is selling, provide, selling books, provide selling books. books. Yeah, they provide books and you can buy books. Buy yeah, that is the difference. In the library, we can ask for books. We can ask for books. Can you lend me a book? Okay, and or you can read as some as someone said, we can read books in a library. Can stay there and we can read the book. In bookstore, you can buy book. For a book and buy your favorite book. In una, in una biblioteca, library, podemos solo prestar libros, por ejemplo, o leerlos ahí mismo. Bookstore, that is a place we, where you can buy books. In a bookstore, podemos comprar libros. That is the difference. Okay. Bookstore. 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 Yeah, for example, in a talking about library and bookstore, we have a national library in the suburb, right? It is located in downtown. Tenemos una biblioteca nacional, que es la que está ubicada en el centro de San Salvador. Yes. Downtown. But it's, but it's library. But it's library and bookstore in this case is different because you buy books. For example, if you go to the Centro, you can find a bookstore in there, you can buy books. From Mosa Metro Centro, we can find a tienda de libros. The name of the uh, bookstore is El Abaco, I think. Yeah, El Abaco, exactly. There is another one, it is called Saber, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Saber. Yes. Uh, okay. La Internacional, too. La Internacional, exactly. That's another one in Metro Good. Okay. okay, moving on. Let's go to the other, well, to the other slide. Any questions so far? Post office don't have another name. I'm sorry? 
Post office. Don't have another name. Mm, post office. Let me see. Mailbox. No. Mailbox. No. But again. Mailbox. Mailbox. Yeah, it could be like this too. It's not common to see it, but yeah, you can say mailbox. 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 What is it, the most famous post office in a travel? National Post Office. Correos Nacionales. Yeah, Correos de Salvador, right? Uh, what is the, the name for the, the, the place uh, for buy um, articles for a school? To, but in El Salvador? Oh, yes. Yeah. Library, right? Mm. Well, in that case, it's, it's that is to say uh, librería, right? Exactly. But this is not the same English. No, it's not the same as library. No, library is biblioteca. It's the same. It's a yeah. Librería, mm, you can say, in this case, school supplies shop no. or a store. Office Depot. <laughs> Office Depot, exactly. Office Depot, um, Laranda, for example, in downtown San Salvador. Um, what else? Moderna, La Moderna, etc. Those are a school supplies shop or store. Very good. Let's go to other places. Other places, yes. Thanks. Coffee shop. shop. Coffee shop. Yeah. Coffee shop. But in general, let's say in general. Coffee. Cafeteria. Mm. Cafeteria. Restaurant. Exactly. Restaurant. 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 Listen to me. Rest. 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 Well, do you like going to restaurants? Yes. Yeah, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> so it's nice to eat something, right? Eat something out with your family, with your friends, with your wife, your husband, etc. Restaurants. Very good. Let's go with another place. Remember again, repeat it for me restaurant. 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 Yes. Restaurant. Restaurant. By the way, what can we buy here? We can buy food. Food. Food and drinks. Food and drinks. Desserts. Drinks. Desserts. 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 Again. Again. Next. Store. Department store. store. I'm sorry? Department store? Exactly. Department store. Department store. Department store. Yes. Uh, well, you know, uh, uh, I would say a famous place in, in El Salvador is Simon, right? Simon is a department store. Why department store? It's because you can find you can find different areas. Okay, you can find um, a specific place or department just for men, for women, for children. But that's why it is called department store. Okay. Yeah, there's some more. Right. There's some more that's happening. There's some more is another one. Sears. Yeah, Sears is another one. Sears. Yeah. Department store. And what can we buy here? T-shirt, shirt. Golf, golf. Golf in general, I said t-shirts. Jackets. I go for boots. Cosmetics. Shoes. Yeah. Cosmetics, as I said, shoes. Toys. Yeah, toys. Uh, furniture, for example, furniture. You know what is furniture? 
Formiz. Muebles. Formiz. Muebles. 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 Good. So that is a department store. One more time. Let's go back. Restaurant. 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 Yes. Department store. Department store. And the last one. Supermarket. 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 Yes. Supermarket. Uh, well, you know, we have different supermarkets in El Salvador. Selecto, Walmart, Spencer, Walmart, exactly. Uh, what else? Is Dollar one? City. Dollar City, exactly. Supermarket. How about that? Repeat it for me. Supermarket. 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 A, a question, teacher? Sure, tell me. In Spanish. Uh, the, in the category of the supermarket, entran los de aquí llamados 99. Mm, yeah. The, the, that is similar to Dollar City, right? Okay. It's similar to Dollar City, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it can be. A liquor store is only for liquor. <laughs> or the papers, yeah. you, you buy liquor. Yeah, yeah. I, I think in a in a gas station, the the liquor store mm. that are here, yeah, and the, to to buy uh, food too. Yeah, that could be that's a good question because that could, one, yeah. Could we say grocery store, right? The, the yeah, grocery. that could for, be the for phrase. the gas station. In the gas station, there are okay. grocery store, right? Exactly. Grocery stores. Yeah, and they have, as you said, Thank snacks. You. You're welcome. They have snacks, drinks, um, let's say desserts. Yeah, because they offer coffee, cupcakes, brownies, etc. It could be a grocery store. Very good. Okay. Uh, yeah, ask me. How do you say ferreteria? Mm, okay. That's a good question. You can say hardware store. Hardware store. Hardware store. Hardware store. Hardware store. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Somebody else question? Hardware store. So far, so, so good? One moment, Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Well, this is the first vocabulary. We have places. Now let's talk about things. Things. And now we're going to start, you know, saying some examples. Let's begin with things. Listen to the general question. Where can you get these things? Donde podemos encontrar o obtener las, bueno, las siguientes cosas, por ejemplo. The first one. Aspirin. Aspirin. Drugstore. In a pharmacy. Exactly. In a drugstore or a pharmacy. Drugstore. Drugstore. Yeah. For example, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. You can buy drugstore. aspirin at a drugstore. Or if you're talking about in general, let's say medicine or medications, you can buy medications or medicine at a drugstore, at a drugstore. And some uh, supermarket too, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That could be another way, right? You can buy aspirin or medications at a supermarket. Exactly. Without prescription. Exactly, yeah. That is the first one, aspirin. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Next, bread. Supermarket. Bread. Supermarket. 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 You can buy bread. Yes. Oh, no, supermarket. You can uh, buy grocery. bread. Market. Yeah, in a grocery store too. Exactly. You can buy bread at a supermarket or a grocery store. A grocery store. 
panadería. Yeah, that's another one. Okay. You can buy bread. At a bakery. 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 Yes. Bakery. 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 All right. Good. Next. But remember, aspirin, aspirin, brand, brand. You can mm -hmm. buy aspirin at a drugstore. You can buy bread at a supermarket, at a bakery, as you said. Very good. Next, a dictionary. Dictionary. Bookstore. In a bookstore. In a bookstore. At a bookstore. Good. You can buy a dictionary, buy a book. Dictionary, dictionary. dictionary. You can buy a dictionary, bookstore. I can get a dictionary at the at the uh, library too, right? Yeah, you can in a library or in a school supply store. Yes, you can buy a dictionary at a school supply. Nice, sorry. How do you say prestal? Len. 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 Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Uh, why is not correct if I say you can buy bread in a supermarket? Why I don't use in? in oh. I... Okay. Well, in that case, in because when you say, when you use in, it's because you 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 will probably be, be in the place. In, so it means inside. Okay. Inside. Okay, I I I think so that the the correctly gram grammar is at a uh, at uh, uh. Yeah, but exactly, it's not correct. To say in. You can. Or it's you correct. Can. You can. You can buy a dictionary in a bookstore. You can. But in that case, when you okay. say in, it's because you are in the place. You are inside. You enter a place and I buy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. But most of the times, we use at. Because okay. that means location. Okay. Significa okay. una ubicación, por ejemplo. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Good. Let's go next. Gasoline. Gasoline. Gas station. Gas station. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Gasoline. 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 Next. Oh, we can buy just that, right? Or well, some places we can buy what? I don't know. What else can you buy in a gas station? Well, okay. You know that we have the grocery store, right? La 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 tendería. El pequeño establecimiento que, que vende, en este caso, que les podría hacer uh, burritos, bebidas, etc. But yeah, uh, but in a gas station, what else can you buy? That's the question. Or fast food, right? In the grocery uh, store. Fast food, yeah. You can buy soda, sell beer. Beers, beers. Oh, yeah, soda. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Very good. Okay, let's go next. Sandwich. 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 Restaurant. Restaurant. You can buy or you can get a sandwich at a, re a restaurant. Okay? No way I go to the supermarket. But yeah, you can get a, in a supermarket, right? For example, if you go to Let's say uh, Super Selectos or Walmart, you can get a sandwich too. You can buy a sandwich, right? But yeah, you can buy a, a sandwich at a restaurant or yeah, sandwich, sandwich. Next, sandwich, sandwich. Here we have stamps, stamps. Office. Yeah. Post office. Exactly. You can buy stamps at a post office. A post office. You can buy stamps at a post office. Okay. 
What else? I mean, next part, right? It's hard. I have a question. Hard. Yeah, tell me. Um, how how do you call the 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 places to, for example, in in Spanish, uh, we we call comedores, right, or mm. uh, some places, right? Yeah. Uh, how do you say that in English? Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, because most of the all the time we know when we say a restaurant, right? Restaurant. Because they are not a restaurant, right? Yeah, yeah. A little That's, a bit. Bit. That's a good question that you asked me. Can we say food store? Food, food store. Oh yeah, yeah. It could be food court. Oh, food store? No, food court. I'm sorry. Food store? No. Mm. Food store. Could be, could be, food or in other cases, probably you can say food court. Food court. You know, let me look for this specific uh, word or place that you asked me because, yeah, that's a good question. Let me look for it and I'm going to tell you, okay? I'm going to tell you the, the correct one, okay? Be food court, food store. Did you say food Eaters, eaters, no, food oh, but, eater, but, eaters. Yeah, but in that case, it's different because when you say food items, you're referring to, you know, different things. For example, hamburgers, uh, chicken, let's say um, bread, etc. Those are food items. Food items. Food items. Um, but in this case, talking about just that ask me, come on. Could be food court, food. Or let me look for- I, I, I think that in other countries is not very common, right? But in El Salvador no. it's very common. Mm. I'm thinking in another one. Uh, common Anywhere. in El Salvador, pupuserias. Yeah, pupuserias, exactly. That's in our country, pupuserias. Diner, I'm thinking of diner. Diner. To be, to be, diner. Okay. Let me look for that word, okay? Just a, and, well, everybody, and I'm gonna tell you, okay? Oh my Lord. But yeah, because we say that in, in Spanish, that's common to see it here, but in other places it's different. Let me look for it, and I'm gonna tell you, okay? Okay, let's go next. This is a sweatshirt. What's that shirt? Sweatshirt. 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 A department store. Exactly. If you go to a department store, you can find a sweatshirt. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Yes, tell me. What is the difference uh, on sweater? Oh. Okay. Sweater. And we have sweater. Well, sweater is um, one that, that you use, you wear, sorry. Thank you. Okay. And sweater. Then. Well, let me give you an explanation. No more. Sweater, sweater, you wear a sweater for the weather condition. Because it's cold. It's cold, or I don't know, it is snow, for example. You have, you are cold, okay? You use a sweater because it's cold. Sweatshirt, you can wear it. Yeah, you can wear it, but in this case, it's more casual. Sweatshirt, you can use it for, you know, because you're doing exercises or, you know, for an occasion, I don't know, you want to be casual, you can use it. So, and this is, you know, not like a sweater because if you're cold, you're going to, it will be worse. It will be worse, you wear a sweatshirt. And in Spanish, we say sudadera. In sweater, we don't have sweater, okay? What is the difference? Thank you. You're welcome. 
Let's go with the last one. We have travelers, cats. Travelers, cats. Yes. You can buy travelers, cats at a bank. You can buy travelers, cats at a bank. All the time. Subture. 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 Travelers, cats. Traveler checks. Travelers, checks. Yes. Very good. Okay. Questions? Questions for this? Preguntas? Dudas? Is a moment. Almost. Yep. Todos. Questions, doubts, preguntas, dudas, you can ask me. Pueden preguntarme. Y la traducción de Travelers Checks sería como moneda del país o de intercambio, algo así. Mm, yeah, could be, or, or in other words, it could be like cheque viajeros. Yes. Viajeros. Y tengo la duda de cómo diría el Banco de Reserva Central de aquí. Así mm. en español o, o se traduciría. Well, in that case, because those are proper nouns, you say ban Banco de América, sorry. Uh, you say Banco de Reserva Central. But, yeah, because those are proper nouns. For example, when you say Uscatlán Bank, but yeah, you can say in that way. It's like you combine, you have a Spanish, right? Bang, bang. Okay. We cannot translate some words because those, those are proper, proper nouns. Algunas palabras no se pueden traducir. Hay buscar una equivalencia. Porque son nombres propios. Okay. Pues por, por eso decimos, who's the plan? Bang. Or a little bang. You can think with other words, for example, uh, Lago de Guatepeque, you take Guatepeque Lake, or El Tunco Beach. No decimos, puede traducir El Tunco. Y es un nombre propio. Okay, cuando son nombres propios, no se traduce. En este caso, podría ser Banco Central de Reserva, right? It's like this. Yes. Yeah. Or you can say Central, right? So how much is it? Like that. Central Reserva Bank. Mm, no. I think it's much better if you say Banco Central de Reserva. Okay, thanks. Welcome. Uh, somebody else questions? Are you nice? Pero... I, I, I can't understand uh, traveler's checks. Is, you can't? Is, uh, I can't because uh, is, is change the, the kind of this uh, country or the other country. Yeah, exactly. If you travel, if you travel to another country, you have to get the the currency of that country. If we have other países, we must de de obtener en ese caso la moneda del país. Si bueno, por ejemplo, if we go to the United States, we have to get the same currency. But if you go to, for example, I don't know, let's say Spain, Spain or Guatemala, yeah. So you have to get travelers checks. Yes. Teacher. Teacher, the, the meaning of currency. Ah, currency. That is what we say moneda. Currency. 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 That is what okay. we say in English. Yeah, yes. Very good. All right, uh, somebody else? Preguntas, dudas? Estamos bien hasta acá? All right, listen up. Now is your turn, everybody. We're going to look at the examples, Sean, and we're going to write at least five sentences about things you can buy or get in different places. We're going to take into account the places that we have learned so far. And we're going to say some new things. New things. For example, 
You can buy fruits and vegetables at a supermarket. That is one example. You have to continue, you have to write in your notebook five, five example. Okay? You can buy, you have to follow that structure. You can buy something at a, I don't know, market, restaurant, station, etc. Okay? Five examples in your notebooks. You can follow the example. You need some help, just let me know and I can support you, etc. Okay? Vamos a escribir cinco oraciones, modernas, como se escribe esta escritura, you can buy, or you can get, at a, or at a, yes, okay. Preguntas, Stuart? Ted. Okay, let's go, I will give you some time. I will give you five, four or five minutes. Four or five minutes. Almost cuatro or cinco minutes. Wow. If you have questions, ask me. Si hay preguntas, gran pregunta. Teacher. Vamos a ayudar, amigo. Yeah, can. Um, if I need to buy uh, un comedor, what do you say? Do you oh. need Mm. You can say you can buy um, you can say a table and some shavings because when you say a comment they're referring to the whole thing, right? You have the, the table and the chairs. Right? You say you can buy a table uh, and some chairs. And that can be that can be the way. Questions? Teacher. Yeah. So, dining room is a place. Dining room? Yes. Like this? Yes. What uh, is Yeah, that is, is a, a part place of... or this is an object? That is a place. That is a place. That is a part of the house. Dining room. Yeah. And it, it is close to the key. Okay. So that, that is a place where you eat your meals, dinner, breakfast, lunch, and so, if you eat for your own family. Yeah. So in English, uh, you don't have um, the name for the, the all the table and chairs. Okay. Yeah, I, I understand your point. Mm. Let me say this. Let me look for the word. Let me look for the word. Just give me a second. Mm. See? Well, we have different ways, we have different ways. Let me show you. Well, that's just, uh, yeah. Teacher, is that yeah. correct? If I say boot, Butcher shop is carniceria. Butcher shop. Butcher. Is that butcher. correct? But butcher shop. Yeah, butcher shop. Okay. Okay. Butcher. O sea, uh, for example, you can buy meat at the butcher shop. Meat. Yeah, meat at a butcher shop. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
you can say well sorry you can say canteen i'm not sure canteen uh, canteen pub mm, okay this can be one that says that has me comedor to be canteen canteen okay food house <laughs> food house Good yeah. House. yeah. Could be, could be. Canteen. But it's one. Another one I was thinking of dinner table. You can say in that way. Dinner, dinner table, or you can say dining table. Table set. Dining table. Oh, table set, yeah, table set. Dining table, you can see in that way, dining table. And that means that we're talking about the whole thing, the table and the chair. Dining table podría ser el más cercano, o table set. Y hay referente a todo. Ahí en la mesa y las sillas. Lo de comedor, como decíamos. Se podría hacer. Sí, ¿Qué? Claro. ¿Ya? ¿Vale? Sí. How do you say joyería? Joyería, you can say jewelry. Las joyas. Jewels. That is way, that is way jewelry. ¿Y cómo dice que va a comprar una joya en la joyería? Mm. You can buy jewels, jewels. You can buy, well, you take one, right? But we can use the, the specifically. Uh, yeah, I was thinking on that. If you want to for rings, right? Yeah, exactly. You can say you can you can buy some jewelry. A uh, jewelry shop, right? Or you can say you can buy a ring, you can buy a, a necklace, you can buy a bracelet if you want to be more specific. Teacher, how do you say obra de lecturas? You can say um, place, 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 place or oh, record. I'm sorry. Se puede se puede decir reading word como obra de lectura como eh, la mirada, boda de sangre. Yeah. Yeah, it could, be that way. it could be that way, or you can say the place. The place. In place. that way. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, uh, it could be in this way. You can say the first option. You can buy some jewelry. But a jewelry shop. If you want to be more specific, you can say a ring, a necklace, a bracelet, a watch. Queremos ser más, más específicos, podemos mencionar el objeto. Un anillo, una cadena, un brazalete, una pulsera, como decimos. Earrings. Earrings, etc. You can buy earrings. You can buy earrings. Uh, jewelry. Watch. Yeah. Jewelry shop. Thank you. You're welcome. A question, teacher. Tell me, tell me. How do you say in English uh, Oficina de Teléfono, Oficina de Claro, Oficina de Tigo? Mm. Okay. Uh, you're saying like Tigo um, esto. Claro esto. Claro esto. Tigo esto. No. Yeah, it could be in that way. In that way, I was trying to ask him about if he was referring to Movistar, Claro. Hey, you can see in that way Movistar Store, um, Claro Store, Claro Office, Claro Office, Maybe. Claro Offices. Yeah, but if you if you're trying to buy something, you can say claro store or movie store. 
Okay. Oh, uh, who's ready? Are you ready? Ready? I need to listen to some examples. You can raise your hand if you want to participate. And if you have questions, ask me. ¿Qué preguntas? Hagamos, please. Claro. By the way, okay. yeah, voy a mencionar lo que no había valor en danza mencionado. Porque, bueno, vi que Astrid González se, se retiró, pero yo tengo una emergencia, se lo envié en el chat. Voy a mencionar lo que no había, no había dicho sus nombres. Alberto Espinosa. Alberto Espinosa. Pesi Ablos. Bien. César Arriola. César Arriola. Bien. No puedo. Giovanna Navarro. Giovanna Navarro. Sí. Karen Mengio. Karen Mengio. Esto, Carla Granados. El, Carla Rosa. Perfect. Okay, who's ready? All of you. Uh, uh, Bien, José uh, Marrientos. Let's uh, go. Okay. José Marrientos. Okay, teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, can you give us three examples, please? Three examples. Perfect. Uh, my first example is you can buy a soda at a supermarket. Uh, number two is you can buy coffee at a coffee shop. Number three, you can buy meat at a butcher shop. Yeah, very good. Look it up for me. Usher. Usher shop. Butcher shop. Exactly. Thank you, Jose Barrientos. That's very nice. Let's go with Stephanie Stay. Please give us a good example too. Uh, thank you. Uh, you can buy food at a restaurant. You can buy medicine at a drugstore. You can buy a book uh, at a booster. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Good. Okay. Give us three examples as well. Okay. You can buy a charger in an electronic store. You can buy a new high heels at a shoes store. You can cash checks at a bank. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. I will listen to, before to listen to Renata, and then Renata, I will read Bessie's example. You can buy steak and drinks, drinks without the, the apostrophe. Um, is it? El drinks sin el apostrophe. Okay. Drinks, it's in plural. Yes. Okay. Drinks. Okay. At a restaurant. Okay. You can buy beers because it's in plural. Beers in general. Beers at a supermarket. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Let's go with Karen Renata and okay. then I will listen to Ana Francisca. Thank you. Yeah. Where can you get a dog? You can buy a dog at a pet shop. I don't know, is pet shop yeah. or pet pet store? Both, both. Most of the times we, we saw or we, we can see sorry pet shop. You can say pet store. Okay. okay. 
Same. Let me let me give it. I'm sorry. Let me give you the difference. What is the difference between shop and and store? Shop is used or or for British people. British shop is, is Britannical, and store is American. So if you travel to the United States, for example, you will see a store. Teacher, so when, yeah? so when you use uh, we go to we went to go shopping is a British. No, no, in that case it's a verb. Shop is a verb too. Ah, a okay. verb. Yeah, so that's how you say I go shopping. Go shopping. Same. This is over. Yes, you're welcome. Continue. Okay, yeah. I think you gave us just one example. I don't know. Ah, sorry, teacher. Uh, where you can go, where you can go, where, sorry, where can you get a dog? You can buy a dog at a pet shop. Okay, audit time. One more. Uh, where do you, where can you get a laptop? You can buy a laptop at computer store. Yeah, yeah, very good. Thank you, Missy. Sorry, I don't have a laptop. I will go with Anna Francisco. Okay, teacher. You can buy cereal at supermarket store. You can buy refrigerator at department store. You can buy earrings at jewelry. Okay, earrings at jewelry. Jewelry. Okay, earrings. Okay. Earrings. earrings, yes. Uh, and the first one, you can say just supermarket. Supermarket. Because okay. when we say supermarket, we, we have included the word market. Oh. Mm -hmm. Market means mercado. Okay. okay. Yeah. okay. You can omit a store. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. okay. Um, well, listen, time is 10 06. I need to know if you have questions about, you know, what we have seen so far. Preguntas acerca de lo que hemos visto, todo lo que hemos visto. Estamos muy bien. Pregunta tú. No pudimos escuchar a todos, pero me gustaría que sí. Um, pueden compartir sus respuestas en el chat. En el chat. ¿Pueden compartirlas conmigo? Ah, pasamos a la web. Right. Okay, everybody, all my questions. Remember that tomorrow I'm going to explain the, the meter. We're going to explain the meter. A ver generalidades, instrucciones, etc. We're going to find the meters for realizar. Okay, so this morning, we're going to do it until the end. Each one will be done on an individual. Yes. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, well, guys, this is all for today. We're going to finish right here because it's fun. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time. We'll continue tomorrow. Okay? Have a good night. Take care a lot. Stay safe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Good night. 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 Good night.